Well, hello there. Right, that was me on the phone. <laughs> nice to meet you too. And welcome to our love convention. How was your road? Mm, yeah. I know it can get a bit dizzy for you once you reach the top of the mountain. It'll get better in a moment. But why does it feel like there's something else as well? You seem to be a bit intimidated. What is it? Well, I may be in charge of all the lusty things happening here, but you got nothing to worry about. You're always free to keep it wholesome here. The well-being of our guests will always be my top priority. I own this place, after all. <laughs> mm. Did you expect me to speak in that sultry, deep tone? Mm, I can do that. <laughs> but the whole point is for you to meet the real us. And I don't really speak this way. I can, though, if you want me to. <laughs> okay, I'm just messing with you here. Now follow me. I'll introduce you to Cupid. Yes, the Cupid. <laughs> I'll never understand why it's always her getting this reaction from all of you. All right. As you can see, most of our staff members are dressed up as them. But since you're our special guest this year, you'll get a chance to meet the real one. Yeah, the real deal. <laughs> you're up for some extra personal attention here. I'll make sure of that. Hey, careful with the wings here. It's a nice statue, you have to be extra careful. Sorry about that. We're still in the process of setting everything up and these little trainees can be a handful. But there she is. <laughs> oh, I didn't expect you to arrive this early. Hello, I'm Cupid. And you must be... Right. We're so excited to have you here with us this year. And wow, you look even better in person. Oh, you absolutely do. I see E actually came down to meet you herself. Uh-huh. But she was nice to you, wasn't she? <laughs> She can be pretty intimidating sometimes. Yeah, always such a flirt, isn't she? Well, you are our special guest after all. And as much as I'd love to keep it slow and steady, we've got a very eventful night ahead of us. So I'm all for breaking the ice and getting right to the point. Hopefully, that's gonna be the only ice broken tonight. Oh, they're giving you a headache again, right? Our hotel turns into a crazy, hectic mess this time of year. Everybody comes in here in hopes of meeting the one. All nervous and so... Vulnerable. It's our job to make their experience as pleasant as we possibly can. That's why we have to hold our employees to a certain standard to make sure that we create the best environment for all of our visitors. And most of the time, it involves some extra discipline. Luckily, E is good at keeping our staff on their toes and ruffling their feathers from time to time. <laughs> By the way, do you want a tour or 
If you're feeling exhausted after the trip, we could just go straight to your room and discuss all of the upcoming events. Okay, great. Now, where's my booklet? Hey, fake Cupid. Yes, you. Come here. Give me one of these booklets. Yes, thank you. Oh, finally someone managed to use the right font. It only took them, what, two years? I knew it'd be so hard to add some hearts above ice. Oh no. Are you trembling? Hey, hey, hey. I... Look, I haven't seen such a perfect bow tie in a while. Great job right here. Yeah. Who else would show some expertise in bows if it wasn't for us, right? <laughs> Great. Now back to work and make sure you give them the best service of the lifetime. Okay? <laughs> Bossy, isn't she? <laughs> I can never understand why they're so terrified of me. Oh, come on. Really? I mean... All right. I might be demanding. Sometimes. More like all the time. That's exactly why we have the best service out there. Your artistic, intuitive nature combined with... My rational attitude. Besides, I do believe that for one to flow in the clouds, the other should stay firmly on the ground. And that's exactly our case. And now it's time to show you exactly why our services are the best. Here's your very special suite. Well, actually, you'll have the whole wing to yourself. I know, right? We enjoy a good wordplay as well. How do you like the view? Not to brag or anything, but it's one of a kind. We made sure the clouds can never block the view of the stars. Now let's get you comfortable. We have a lot to discuss with you. As you may already know, you'll be up for some special events this week. And ideally, we expect you to end up meeting your perfect match. Our efficiency ratio is very close to 100%, so we think you won't be disappointed. So, now we'll have a brief discussion of the upcoming events. And since you are our very special guest, we would like to make it as comfortable and cozy for you as possible. So... Just lay back and relax. Honestly, you look exhausted. Right. Do you mind if I give you a nice little shoulder and neck massage? This will help release some of the tension and ease your mind right into this wonderful upcoming week. Uh-huh. Does it feel good? Okay. So, what do we have here? This time will be full of exciting events and fateful encounters. That we can promise you. Tomorrow we'll be having a grand opening brunch. It's a good chance for you to just mingle around and meet some new people. And if you're not the type to make the first move, you can just call me up. Mm -hmm. And my arrows will do all the work. I have a couple of extra ones saved for your needs. Mm -hmm. Well, then my personal advice would be to keep those for the speed dating event that comes next. You know, love at first sight and all that. Oh, believe me. I got more than enough. How about we continue with the scalp massage? <laughs> uh, 
Oh, I thought so. Okay, but after the brunch, you will have some time for yourself. While the love convention is an event where you get a chance to meet the one, we can never forget about our favorite type of love. And the most important one, in our humble opinion. <laughs> Self-love. Right. Self-love. Oh, do not roll your eyes just yet. We're not the ones to force this leave love love <laughs> mindset onto you, right? See? <laughs> yes. The whole point of self-love is to not be selfish or always prioritize yourself first, but to become love yourself. Radiate love for the world around you and for your place in it. Being in harmony with yourself and feeling like you belong. Because you do belong. Just as you are. Because you're already enough. And you're worthy of love. In any form. Platonic. Physical. Romantic. You're deserving enough to experience it all. And most importantly, you don't need anyone else to feel love. And that's exactly why you'll be having the rest of tomorrow to yourself. You can either chill by the pool with your favorite book, or go get a relaxing massage, or go back to your room and sleep through the entire day. Whatever will make you happy and refill your energetic and emotional cup. Right, and after that, we'll have this speed dating event I told you about. And depending on how this goes for you, you can either choose to have a date night with your match. Or matches. Sometimes it's a numbers game, you know. <laughs> or you can attend some coaching sessions instead to improve your social skills work on your self-esteem or maybe get more clear on the exact type of partner or friend that you're looking for oh yeah absolutely your perfect match we're talking about does not have to be romantic this can be your perfect friend. Sometimes people are dreaming of finding their best friend even more than about finding their love. So, of course. I got some special arrows for that as well, so just let me know if you like someone enough to make them your bestie and I'll sort it out. <laughs> well, not that it's completely rigged. You humans don't realize how everything happens because you're always in the moment but it's a daily hard work for us yes we have to take into account all of your desires and expectations and make sure these match the ones your person has for themselves and for you and when we're lucky enough to find a match we send our arrows straight into your heart and that's how some real-life long bonds are formed. <sighs> oh, are you surprised? <laughs> She's even more sentimental than me, actually. <laughs> oh, no, I'm not. Hmm. Well, I am labeled as a master of physical affection. Rightfully so. I I know for a fact that it's an important aspect you cannot just simply get rid of. And you never should, actually. But we're not some one-dimensional creatures, you know? Both of us enjoy all aspects of love. And there's so many of them, as we told you before. These stereotypes can go a long way. 
Some of them are ridiculous, while others are simply necessary. Like, for example, I bet you were expecting to meet two chubby boys with curly hair. <laughs> right. The way you all just take that short pause whenever you hear me introduce myself. Through all these centuries, every special guest has done so. <laughs> Never gets old. We created this image on purpose. When it comes to our craft, we need to remain professional. It's easier to distribute the product when your image is of a cute golden-haired child. Appeals to people of all age and genders. Speaking of a certain appeal, we need to cast some spells on you. Oh, we're absolutely serious. <laughs> Did you expect us to get out some checklist and start asking you personal questions? <laughs> we do provide matchmaking services, but our case calls for some magical intervention. Don't you think so? <laughs> Besides, you already filled all the necessary forms when you registered for this trade. Mm -hmm. We get everything we need from your personality type to your astrology birth chart. As much as we like spells, even the strongest ones have a tendency to wear off, so we like to sprinkle those with some more rational methods. But we'll certainly cast some very special love spells on you tonight as well. So, don't you worry. <laughs> Just lay back, relax, and enjoy. <laughs> Guess it's my turn to play with your hair. You don't mind me doing that. So, we'll start with some words of affirmation, but you should know that love spells are very special, and while some of them can be cast with the help of words, others require some special language being used. Love language. Oh, are you blushing, human? <laughs> no need to worry. You check the wholesome box in our form, and we'll keep it this way for you. But there will be a need to cast some proper love spells, and grant you more luck for the rest of your week. <laughs> and this is why we'll be using both languages for you. Just close your eyes and relax, listen to my voice, and enjoy our little spell. E will start with little kisses on your forehead to ease your mind and set your thoughts up for some positive thinking. <laughs> mm -hmm. Just like that. See? Very soft. Love is a great journey. It can be very painful sometimes, but most of the time it brings so much joy. Which is why we love, love, love our job. You're so cute when you're blushing. <laughs> yes, you certainly are. These chicks are cute. Let me kiss them as well. To keep that cute pinkish glow on for the rest of the week. Makes you look so 
Even a bit flustered, you still look amazing. It is true. <laughs> but back to our spell. You know what? Love is not always supposed to be with a romantic partner. Love can also be for yourself. For a friend. For the life itself. Think of it as being a process. This everlasting state of being rather than a fleeting feeling that enters your life with a certain person only to leave you when they do. But love can never leave you. It always stays within you. You are inseparable. Where's life? There is love. It's all about our perspective. The way these beautiful eyes look at every situation. Let me gently pack those beautiful eyes of yours to help them with the right perspective. <laughs> and when tomorrow comes, you'll be happy enough no matter the outcome. Of course, it always feels good to find someone you can share a beautiful bond and all these beautiful emotions with. We won't deny that. But relationships or lack of those do not define your worth. The simple fact of your existence makes you worthy enough. Worthy of love. Respect, affection, all the deeper connections and understanding. And you should let these words settle in your mind. Let's help those cute ears of yours. Let these words in. want you to fall asleep with a smile on your face, because that's what you deserve. What you absolutely deserve. We'll be there with you on this journey. Keeping you safe and lifting you up. Tomorrow will be great and even if you don't find anyone this week, even if you're that little unicorn, <laughs> we will never stop looking after you. You'll be always surrounded by love. And we'll make sure of that. Mm -hmm. You'll be always surrounded by love. We'll be here for you. Sleep well, our precious human. Sweet dreams. Have a wonderful 